Hello, yeah, Captain. Welcome back to this space DLC edition of Stormworks Basics tutorial. So this is going to be a hydrogen electrolyzer tutorial. So this is a part that uses uh, real life mechanics to separate hydrogen from oxygen using electricity. So let's go ahead and uh, build this. All right, so we'll start building a tank here. So we're going to make it really simple here. I'm just going to put in some walls. Pretty simple. So we have a square tank here. Pretty simple. And we're going to go ahead. I'll punch a couple holes here. We'll make them so that I can see them. This will be on the workshop so you guys can look at it. So first thing here is a spawner. So I'll put some parts in pink. That way you can just see um, what the actual active parts are. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to use uh, fresh water. So we'll go all the way to fresh water, full. And then we're going to need a couple things here. So we're doing, this is going to be all liquid in this tank. But I think it's going to be a reasonable procedure here to put in a liquid meter and a gas meter. I'm going to do both. This way I can just check uh, both quantities in the event that there, there were any issues. So liquid meter and gas meter are going in there. I paint them in pink here. This way I can look at them outside the build. I don't have to go inside of the build. And so here's our enclosed volume and this will fill with water. And so the next thing we want to do is we want to look at that electrolyzer part. If we type in electrolyzer here, we get it. So here's the hydrogen electrolyzer. Uh, I'm going to put this in pink so you can see it. And I'll start it with it on its side. So just go put it right in the center here. And as you can see, we have two nodes. So if we put a pipe to the first node, you see it says hydrogen out. And the second one is um, oxygen out. The way, the way electrolysis works IRL is if you think about water, waterogen is dihydrogen monoxide, H2O. Two hydrogens bonded to a singular oxygen. And so they're electronically bonded. And so what you do is if you break the bond, what's going to happen is the oxygen is going to separate from the hydrogen. And you're going to be able to get hydrogen and oxygen. And that's exactly what this does. So it's kind of cool they made it how it works IRL. Um, this requires electricity IRL, and it also requires electricity in-game. So we'll go ahead and we'll paste it there, and I will merge it. So this is, again, just so you can see it. So this sticks out the top here. As you see, you have these two pipe connections. And you want to make sure this uh, cathode nanode are inside of the uh, water. All right, so I'm going to do a bunch of this in pink, just so you can see it. So put up a couple of these pipes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I will tee them off. This way we can take some of this uh, gas and we could, for example, fill a rocket or fill a tanker truck that we're going to do. Next thing I'm going to do is go to tanks. You can build a custom tank if you want it, or you can use these tanks. So right here we have some small tanks. I'm just going to use smalls. That way it's not doesn't take too long. Now you can leave these as anything you want. Air, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, whatever you want. I tend to name them so that I can label which one's going which. Uh, which way that just reminds me in the editor. So as you see, this one's going to be oxygen on the uh, on our right side here. So I'm just going to go to oxygen and I'm going to drag it to 0%. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make this one hydrogen 0%. So this one will fill with hydrogen, this one with oxygen. All right. So the next thing I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and we'll pipe it over here. So for example, if we wanted to fill up one of our rockets, uh, one thing we could do is we could uh, have a little production facility on the ground. And then we could use a truck to move this to wherever we're going to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is do a pump. All right, we don't need to pump this from the electrolyzer. We can just uh, go ahead and put some pumps here. And so I'm going to just take some. I've been doing these gas reliefs. These tend to work well for wherever they're going. So I tend to put them like right before the pumps. You don't have to. But uh, it's a good practice to get into. This just makes sure that uh, your flow works well and that it's not going to allow any sort of liquid through here. So this will make it so that we shouldn't get liquid in here anyways, but that's uh, kind of a good uh, stopgap. And since they're one by one, it really doesn't, you know, um, disadvantage us to do that. I'm going to do a couple of valves. Uh, we don't need valves. Let's go ahead and I want to do a couple hose anchors here. And so there's going to be hose anchors, one for oxygen, of course, and one for the hydrogen there. So we have our uh, oxygen on the left side, our hydrogen on the right. And then what we could do is we could take a couple toggles here. And we'll grab these two toggles here. These toggles will go here. There'll be pumps so that if we wanted to pump this into our rocket, we could. So it would pull the hydrogen oxygen and it would pressurize it. This allows it to pressurize the system and push it into the tanks that we're trying to fill. All right, so next thing we need, we're going to grab another toggle here. So I'm just going to copy this one right here. 
And we're going to go ahead and we're going to plumb this up to the electrolyzer. All right, so the only other node in the electrolyzer is this electrical connection. So I have infinite electricity on right now, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook this up to a battery. And we'll see how much it takes. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab a medium battery probably. So here's one right here. And so we'll plug this in and we'll also see how much electricity this is going to use. We'll just do dual batteries there. And we'll plumb these in. And so this way we can actually watch how quickly this is um, taking electricity away from us. And so we'll go ahead and we'll make sure infinite electricity is off. It is. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. And we'll kind of look at all our gauges and stuff. So we have a liquid meter. As you can see, the fresh water tank is full of uh, 3,900 liters of fresh water. Carbon dioxide there, there's a little bit of trace gas in there. This may change. As you can see, we have equal volume of gas and, and liquid. We should have zero gas in there if this is 100% full of liquid. So hopefully they change that. All right. And so we look up here. We have a gas tank at zero atmospheres. It is completely empty. We have a gas tank over here. Zero atmosphere is completely empty. We're going to go ahead and we're going to press the center toggle button. This should start the electrolyzer. As you can see, we're filling with hydrogen. As you can see over here, we are filling with oxygen. So pretty simple there. That's really all you have to do. And this will allow you to fill it up with these um, with these gases. Because, you know, some people have been commenting why if this tank can hold, as you can see, the capacity says 46.88 liters of uh, is the capacity and then we're putting in 120 liters of oxygen that is a 120 liters of oxygen at uh, one atmosphere so you need to think of it that way gases are compressible so we're putting 176 liters of oxygen in this tank that would be that would be how many liters it would take up if it was at one atmosphere at four atmospheres it only takes up 46 liters of space so because we're compressing this that's why that number is up so that that's why it's doing that but as you can see we can very quickly get oxygen and we can get hydrogen and then if we turned on either of these here as you can see um, we could be able to, to spit these out so that is how you could fill your different um, ships up and so you can use a hose connection and pump right in the ship and we've been running for a little while now as you can see it is pretty electric uh, heavy this is realistic in the sense that, for example, IRL, uh, this is why we don't have a lot of hydrogen cars. Uh, hydrogen cars would be very uh, efficient as fuel cell vehicles. The only waste product when hydrogen burns is water vapor. So, you know, we just be putting water vapor in the house here. It's very green. It's very clean. But the issue is it takes a lot of electricity to separate the um the oxygen from the hydrogen that bond is a strong bond so we require a lot of electricity and as you can see we have two medium batteries they're down to 50 percent now and we have yet to fill this so you know we would uh we need a consistent amount of electricity we're finally full now so we can shut it off but as you can see so it took us about um 0.47 uh bat you know about a little bit over half of our battery to fill these two tanks as you can see they're up to seven atmospheres here. I think they're pretty much stopped. And so this is how you make a uh, hydrogen. This is how you make an electrolyzer to be able to split hydrogen and oxygen. And then you can fill your tanks of your uh, of your spaceship. So uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.